welcome to today's take five. Today we are going to be in Romans chapter five. Now this chapter is jam-packed with a lot of goodies. Uh, so if you haven't read it yet, please do so right after this video. Um, if you have read it already, go back and read it again. Super good um, and a lot of really good truths in this. So we're going to kind of jump around a bit for the sake of time, but we're going to start out in verse one. It says, therefore, since we have been justified by faith, we have peace with God through our Lord Jesus Christ. Though through him, we have also obtained access by faith into this grace in which we stand, and we rejoice in hope of the glory of God. Not only that, but we rejoice in our sufferings, knowing that suffering produces endurance, and endurance produces character, and character produces hope. And hope does not put us to shame, because God's love has been poured into our hearts through the Holy Spirit who has been given, who has been given to us. For while we were still weak, at the right time Christ died for the ungodly. For one will scarcely die for a righteous person, though perhaps for a good person one would dare even to die. But God shows his love for us, and while, and while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. Since therefore we have been justified by his blood, much more shall we be saved by him through, from the wrath of God. For if while we are enemies we are reconciled to God by the death of his Son, much more, now that we are reconciled, shall we be saved by his life. More than that, we also rejoice in God through our Lord Jesus Christ, through whom we have now received reconciliation. So I want to go back and uh, point out in verse 3 how the author, Paul, is writing and says, we rejoice in our sufferings. Um, whenever we're going through sufferings, I don't think our natural inclination is to rejoice in them. Um, I know it hasn't been the case for myself and uh, many that I know. Um, but there's purpose in our sufferings and we see that is through them um, that suffering produces endurance and so um, i'm actually at a baseball field now and i didn't play softball or baseball i did in church league but um there's a lot of running that takes place in baseball which you wouldn't think so because the bases are short and i played soccer and so i know a little bit about running um, but there's a lot of endurance that takes into running the race. And the same as our, for our Christian walks as well in our Christian lives. Um, it's not a sprint, it's a marathon, and it is the longest marathon ever, um, where we're, we're just constantly having to be at the top of our games and running. And there's gonna be times when we're not, um, but it's through our sufferings, it's through those valleys and those hard places that endurance is produced and that Whenever we see God in the low places, we know he's going to be there for us everywhere in between, even in the valleys, even in the mountaintops. And so um, it's through this endurance that produces character and the character produces hope. And so um, our sufferings, we're not just suffering for nothing. Um, our sufferings have an end goal and an end purpose. And we're going to see in a couple chapters later how God uses all things, even the good, bad, ugly perfect, wonderful, sorrowful, all things, good and bad, um, for his glory, for the good of those who love him and have been called according to his purpose. And so um, just wanted to highlight that. And also in verse eight, uh, but God shows his love for us that while we were still sinners, Christ died for us, um, which is just super cool. So here's where I'm gonna hop down and it's gonna go into verse 20 and I'm just gonna read verse 20 um, just for the sake of time says, now the law came in to increase the trespass, but where sin increased, grace abounded all the more. So um, I heard the Sunday school teacher say that as God's mercies renew every single day, every day our debt get lar gets larger. And the reality is, is that Jesus paid it all. And so if we truly understood how much our freedom cost and cost Jesus and how loving our father is to give us a way out how different would our lives be um if there wasn't a second that we walked this earth and we didn't forget about or minimize it in our minds what would be different about how the way we live um so if you and i, I honestly think that if we really understood this earth would look a lot more like heaven where we we're just going to be praising uh, god and worshiping him day and night um but the reality is, is here on this earth, we have another job and that's to spread the gospel. And so uh, I just want to leave you guys with that question. Go back and read the chapter and talk to you later. Bye.